first at six. FEMA workers are knocking on new doors in the Northeast Kingdom, now offering help to people impacted in late July. The president approved a major disaster declaration for those storms at the end of last week, and it applies to Caledonia, Orleans and Essex counties. ABC 22's Matt Holderman joined one FEMA crew earlier today as they went around trying to get people registered. Since August 21st, workers with FEMA have been here in Caledonia County going door to door offering to help people sign up for disaster relief if they qualify. And with President Biden approving another major disaster declaration last week for the late July storms, they're now able to go to even more neighborhoods and offer help to more people. The next one is in Kona. One of FEMA's disaster survivor assistance crews or DSAs went door knocking in a quiet part of St. Johnsbury Monday afternoon, passing out flyers to people they think may have experienced property damage from the torrential rain and flooding at the end of July. Crew lead Vincent Mbera told me Mondays can be a bit quieter for them at times, but on a day like this past Sunday when a lot of people were at home, they helped at least six families in St. Jay register for individual assistance, and other DSAs had success in Linden, East Burke, and Island Pond as well. Did we show you um, yeah. three ways to apply online? Um, 800 number or we can do it. Too. Along with knocking on doors, they've also handed out and taped up flyers around busy parts of town, letting people know of the same ways to apply. And then people are also going around handing out these ones to like um, businesses, post offices, trying to get like the word out that way. Although they still have a lot of people to reach who are impacted by the late July storms, FEMA has helped more than 1,800 people who were impacted by the July 10th and 11th storms register for aid, approving more than $6.4 million to help them and conducting 1,600 home inspections. Many of those 1,800 people applied on their own or at disaster recovery centers, but the DSAs have been responsible for at least 300 of the registrations since late August. As of this weekend, the DSA teams out in the field have visited more than 13,000 homes, and although not everyone has been at home when they visited, they have interacted with close to 6,000 people. For now, reporting in Caledonia County, Matt Holderman, ABC 22 News.